Welcome to my humble abode. I'm Yoki the Tailspinner, and this is Tales of a Copy, the channel where we start the day together with a cup of coffee and a narrative tale in the hope of welcoming a blessed day. We return now to Life is Strange Before the Storm with Chloe Expelled and Rachel talking about leaving Brown. I'm at the junkyard. In her Shit. newly I slept up, all day. Car. What? Well, what the hell? Well, we probably should about to die. I think she might be dreaming. Yeah. Dad? I wonder if it burned like this the day the day it happened. The wreck that killed her dad. I miss him so much. Dad, what are we doing here? That looks like it's burnt to a crisp. Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? Hopefully not to the extent that he is, because as I say, that looked like it was burnt. Maybe not. Do I even like marshmallows? <laughs> well, I guess you do now. This is the, lo the roast of Chloe Price. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. <laughs> See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us just like darkness but darkness blinds with absence with loss what does fire blind with beauty <laughs> but sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Talking about Rachel, maybe? <sighs> uh, 
of getting burned. Ooh. Hello, Two Face. Well, that's one of her dreams that probably she didn't want to have. And there's Rachel right now. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. Almost burned down, but that means he wasn't out long. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A freaky red light? That is dark. Too dark. Perfect dark. <laughs> Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also going to need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. Well, she had brought it It's home. definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <laughs> Whatever. Got my shoulder on me. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. <laughs> or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At yeah. least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. A little bit. Last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't <laughs> accomplice sound way cooler than accessory <laughs> after the fact? Is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. <laughs> Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. <laughs> the old therapist well, couch me. Not a reality. Not nowadays, anyway. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... <sighs> He's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? <laughs> He's a uh, step douche because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. 
May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Oh! Ew. And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Wow. Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Yeah, just a little bit. Highly controversial. <laughs> <clears throat> so, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. <laughs> someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the looks department. <laughs> Perhaps this friend of yours, who I reiterate must be just stunning, mm -hmm. needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because... She was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. When I feel overwhelmed with just giving a damn about people who don't give a damn back, sometimes I like to listen to Bob Geldof's song. I don't care. Uh, I don't mind at all. Yeah. Just giving up on everything. We never do. But sometimes it's nice to think you might for a moment. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touche, Doc. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. I... Kind of fix the truck a Not bit. Not the other two. Too that raw. might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. <laughs> Grand Thrive Junkyard, yeah. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? Mm. You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. Mm. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Mm -hmm. Don't say you'll make sure she's in that way. This empowers her. Shit. She's got the power. It's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck, <laughs> bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. Break a leg, yeah. That's dumb. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, it is place traditional. maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. 
Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. <laughs> That's nice and thoughtful. Well, I don't know what she's given, but still it is. Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. Can I turn that radio off, please? Kind of great thing. No, I can't. talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> this elephant fucking rules. I can't turn it off. Good. That was grating. This place is the shit. Tag it up, Chloe. Chloe was here. Oh, but come on. Come on, that's basic. Wrong way. <laughs> A bag full of clothes. You're gonna need them. Yes, I need those. Just hope they fit. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Mm, not really our style, I think. It's not bad, but it doesn't suit you. Well, they're clean. The jeans are okay, the jacket looks a bit... Honestly. T-shirt's a bit bland, grey on black. Or oh, black on grey, rather. Right, can we can we move on now? Right, there we are. Let's hit the answer. We're in Tarot Tower already, I think. Yeah, lightning struck tower. Check skull. Bonus out now. We'll, we'll stick with the lightning struck tower. Oh, I guess we won't. New outfit. That's it. It's the jacket, that's the main thing. That works. That works.
Let's go. I don't want to try any others on. I want to get out of here. What am I doing wrong? Oh, that was S. I'm thinking S as they move backwards. It's not, is it? I just want to get out of the trying on clothes bit. No, not more. Things helping here. Oh, maybe just the only thing that works is the S in the turns on the side, and it only lets me turn to see the different clothes. Yeah, yeah, we know, Chloe. Just keep your clothes as they are, and then can we please not look at the clothes anymore? Zoom game. Uh, okay, we're doing the bird skull now. Please let me get out of this. You can keep any of them. I don't care, Chloe. Just stop putting on clothes. Just wear something. Message wasn't there. Mikey. Death says you're in. Okay, I heard you got expelled. Yeah, I rolled one against Wells. Get it? Death says you're in. Okay, but I, I don't want to look at any more clothes. I want to get out of looking at clothes. No other key is doing anything. I'm going to try and get reload last checkpoint and not try and look damn close this time. <sighs> Hello, Junk Shack. Right, we're in here. Let's turn that loud ass tinny music off. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. Right. Hang it. already I don't care about looking at it some more prop it up this place is the shit it's like my junk fortress. Uh, but, uh, the that board. Let's see. It's gonna force me to look at the clothing. Uh, 
no other key was doing anything. A bag full of clothes. Yeah. Yes, I need those. Do I have to try them on? Can I just not? <laughs> the cutting edge in junkyard security technology. I should check out that bag before I go. Oh god, it's making me do it. I don't really want to try something on. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Again, the door shack school. I didn't see the exit down at the bottom. Okay, I've got it now. There we are. One message from Frank. I'll meet you. Uh... Maybe it costs my eye. Ooh, party butt. Meet you if you have the cars range check. I'm at the junkyard now. Alright, so it's time to talk to Frank. That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Price, get your ass in here. <laughs> Smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that? Look up! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Alright. Now I'm fetching. Dude, I heard you got expelled. Bad news. You mean good news? I'm stoked. But. I'm, I'm home too. I finally got busted yesterday for smelling like weed. Mom's making me go to her book group. Oh man. Things for Frank. How low can I go? And we're back. You're listening to 87 Fight the power. I have with me Jack Kearney. They're gonna search and seize your law. Sorry, Frank. I okay. didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. How dare you offer candy to children without parental permission and record your license plate. Oops. Ugh, gross. Bomb sauce. For the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. Uh, what's wrong with that exactly? <laughs> what does Frank really need to remember? The uh, tip milk. Got it. A real house. Oops. Wonder what Frank eats when he gets the munchies. Beans. Well, 
That's an insane amount of beans. Yeah, I'd say so. Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. <laughs> That's a pork chops, by the way. I think they're pork chops. It could be anything. I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about oh. it. Damn it. Part of a balanced breakfast. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, we're not looking at that. Do I really want to see Frank's bedroom? Yes, we do. You got the dog in here, Frank. It looks like things have been ripped up a bit. Hey there. It's okay, little guy. Some relative of my six oh, over there. Shit! Pompadou! Get up here! Pompadou? You little killer. I don't know what Madame Pompadou is from, but uh No he's big someone like that. Like him to be uh, literally. I can't believe you guys, Bell. If you want, need someone to talk to, I want to confess your dark secret. I'm really okay with it, man. Then, uh -huh. I'm here for you. Cool, thanks. Someone's a messy eater. Where's a dog? Dogs can be messy eaters. A throne fit for. Frank. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. Yeah. Anything else first? Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. He's dogged, let alone dead. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. All right, let's take that to Frank. Is this what I think it is? Glad I paid that off. Lloyd 175. Bella 150. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. That dog makes Frank look almost nice. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what it's from. Man, Pompadou okay. is from a literary work. So, who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV? Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Let's go for this Chloe. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Build our relationship, happy customers. Your customers like you because you're laid back. That's why I like you. So you should keep building up that easygoing vibe, you know? Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? myself out of order. Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. <laughs> like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You got it. 
The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Hmm. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. You shouldn't have opened my mouth. Why him, Milo? Thanks for telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? <sighs> Shit. Really? Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. No insurance. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of it. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But ah, I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. I've got a little job for you. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. I Drew need to runs... check that ping. Alright. Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart. I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? No, we don't talk. No, I never talked to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. I ain't welcome there. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course. But what's in it for me? I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I I'm not supposed uh -huh. to be in a black ball. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than Yeah, that's true. That's certainly true. Non-drug dealer. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. All right, join us next time when we try to raid Drew's uh, room. See you then.